Don outside. Pass to Atkins. Shot clock at six. Kicks it out to Deladon. The three ball. Count that as her seventh field goal in ten tries. She's shooting a nifty 70%. One aspect of their play today that's been far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive, uh, but the great offenses have it. And that's just what they've shown tonight. It's Burton. Segrist, covered by Segrist. Deladon outside. Pass to Egbo. The shot's good on the assist by Elena Deladon. Great movement from Egbo, setting a solid pick, then releasing for the hoop. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Outside to Shields. Top of the key, and it's good for two. We've seen an obvious improvement out of her since halftime, and she just didn't really have a whole lot working for her in the first half. Now here's Tolliver. Pass to Deladon. Shoots over to Shields. Again, the Mystic score. Nobody should be surprised by this offensive outburst. Deladon prepares like no other, so she's pretty much always ready when she's out there. Here's a Gunbawale. The offensive rebound. A good board there, but overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And they've just got to find a way to get back into this game. That's as good a place as any. Just increase the effort on the boards. Now here's Atkins. Pass to Tolliver. Egbo. Back to Tolliver. Deladon outside. Shoots over Agunbawale. The second chance effort. And Heinz Allen lays it in. Simply ferocious on the O-board. You have to box out Heinz Allen. She is a big-time hustler and a big-time player on the boards. A challenging stretch for Dallas here. It's Burton. And here's Segrist. Pass to Ogumbawale. Fires from deep. Field goal number nine. She's nine for 12 with that basket. Well, she's shot a very good percentage today, and her team has needed every last bit of it. Now here's Tolliver. Deladon outside. Tolliver up top. Hines Allen with it. Just five on the clock. 14 feet out, and again, it's Washington converting. A high IQ player on offense, Heinz Allen knows the value of the mid-range. Time called here, the Wings decide to talk it over. They'd seen enough scoring in the paint and wanted to send a message to their team. Lock things up inside. Yeah, you're right, Tim. I guarantee you this talk centers around cutting down on all those points coming against them in the paint. And maybe it's more help. It's the front of player. They've got to try something. Big group substitution here for Washington. On 
on defense, the Mystics. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Dangerfield, left side. Outside, a good Moale. Clock at four. Back to Dangerfield. Brown shoots over Austin. Offensive rebound. Pass to Brown. to Howard. Goes back up. Slides right through for her seventh basket and 11 tries. Great recognition on the catch and shoot. Howard understood exactly how much time she had. Now Cloud. Hawkins outside. Screen by Sykes. Now here's Cloud. Inside. Sykes, no good. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Back to Goombawale. Outside Howard. Pass to Dangerfield. Back to Howard. Good, and the assist goes to Crystal Dangerfield. What a setup on that hoop. Dangerfield with the correct decision. Here's Deladon. Sykes outside. The three is up. Howard with the rebound. So it's Dallas now. Down by 15. Dangerfield outside. Asto Gumbawale from downtown. The Mystics pull it in. They led the game at one point by 20. Sykes outside. Elena Deladon for three. Field goal number nine. She's nine for 12 with that basket. When she gets going, this is what can happen. They need to think about a double team. Here's Dangerfield. Pass to Saboli. Here's Howard. And here's Dangerfield. It's over Cloud. The shot by Dangerfield, no good. Sykes outside. Deladon outside from deep. Satu Sabali comes up with the board. So it's Dallas now. It's an 18-point game. Dangerfield outside. Agunbawale is screen. Here's Sabali. And it's Austin with the rebound. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Sykes outside. Della Don guarded by Howard. Pass to Austin. Sykes outside. Shoots over Agumbawale. The putback. It's good on the putback. They're not letting up, guys. They just keep coming at him. And, and I think it's safe to say that lead is too big to overcome at this point. Just not enough time on the clock. Yeah, absolutely. Now here's Dangerfield. Outside Agumawale. Let's go with a three. Good. And the assist goes to Crystal Dangerfield. Well, with how active Arike is offensively, that three-pointer is there for her. You just can't take everything away from Arike. Here's the Mystics with the ball. They lead by 17. Screen by Sykes. Pass to Cloud. The three. Brown grabs the board. Dangerfield with it. One thing I love about the WNBA, we see rule changes here before the NBA. Well, the league does an incredible job experimenting, trying out new things that make the game better for us fans. The best part for me is the speed of a WNBA game and how the rules help that. You watch a game and it's basically constant action. 
fewer commercial breaks means more exciting plays. Now here is Sykes. Pass to Deladon. Over Howard. Deladon shots good. So clean, so focused, so efficient. Elena Deladon off a pass is almost automatic. Here's a Gunbawale. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Sabali the screen. A Gunbawale with it. Howard. Deladon covering. The shake. And there's the bucket as Howard finishes it off. Look at how unfazed Howard is by the defender. Not letting anything dissuade her from her shot. Now here's Cloud. So it's the Mystics winning this one easily. And they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They really did show some mental fortitude. They were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.